Hey guys, so if you don't know, the new trailer for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Crimes of Grindelwald, dropped last Tuesday. I did a video on that if you want to go check it out, and I thought it would be the perfect time to do a Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them update collection. So there's quite a lot of items, so without further ado, let's just get started. Here are all of my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them items. So we'll start off with Funko Pops. I have Newt Scamander number two, he's holding the Ockamy egg. Queenie Goldstein number three, Serafina Pickery number Six. Percival Graves, number seven. The Niffler, number eight. He's holding the coins. I actually have two of these, one in box and one out of box because my dad bought this one by mistake when he was trying to get the one with the purse. And I do have his box upstairs in the attic. The Demi Guys, number 11. And the Newt Scamander keychain. So I am missing quite a few Fantastic Beasts Funko Pops, but that's all the ones I have. Then we'll do wands. I only have three Fantastic Beasts wands. So this one is the Newt Scamander wand, which was from San Diego Comic Con. I got this online and it's a noble collection and here is what the wand looks like. Then I have Serafina Pickery's wand which I think is absolutely beautiful, there's a close up. And Queenie Goldstein's wand which is another beautiful beautiful wand. So that's the only Fantastic Beasts wands I have at the moment. Next up I have a few Fantastic Beasts and where to find them autographs so we might as well go through them really quickly. So I have Catherine Waterston who played Pop and Tina Goldstein, Eddie Redmayne who played Newt Scamander, Ezra Miller who played Credence Barebone, the autograph is a little bit hard to see, Mike Gabitas who played a gala guest, Paul Red Redfern on the left and Paul Redfern and Mike Gabitas on the right who also played a gala guest and here's some notes from Paul Redfern and another Paul Redfern. He was also in Harry Potter in the Weasley wedding scene and there's my note on the back of that. Then my favourite autograph in this folder, which is Alison Sadol and Dan Fogler, a jewel signed, who played Queenie Goldstein and Jacob Kowalski. Gemma Chan, who played Madame Yazoo. Johnny Depp, who played Gellert Grindelwald. Carmen Ijogo, or Ijodo, I can't remember how to say it, who plays Serafina Pickery. Emmy, who sang the song The Blind Pig, and she was also a goblin motion capture, I believe. And there's the back of that. Faith Wood Blagrove, who played Modesty Barebone. And there's the note from her. Scott Stevenson, who was an extra on the right there in the corner. Arinze Kenne on the left, who played Aura number six. And on the right, I believe that's another Paul Redfern. <laughs> Jen Murray, who played Chastity Barebone. These are signed on the back. And there's the signature. Then I have Jude Law, who's going to be playing Albus Dumbledore. And it's not in that folder, but I also have J.K. Rowling's autograph, who was the creator of Fantastic Beasts, somewhere to find them, and also Harry Potter, of course. Next up, we'll do books, and I have quite a few books, so I'll try and get through these as quick as possible. So we have The Art of the Film, which is absolutely beautiful. And in this book, you also get some postcards, so I'm going to flip through those quickly. So we have this one, this one, and this one. Then I have J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Movie Magic, Volume 1, Extraordinary People and Fascinating Places. This is about Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And you get a few things in this book, including stickers, which I'm obviously not going to use, Tina's Makuta ID card, a flyer from the movie, and another flyer. This, which I think is pretty cool, is the Magical Exposure Threat Level Clock, and it turns into Serafina Pickery. Some more stickers. A page from the New York Ghost. These postcards are also from that book. And that's what the back of the postcards look like. Next up we have this copy of Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. I think I have two of these. This copy of Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. This Chinese or Japanese, I'm very sorry I can't remember, copy of Fantastic Beasts. This, which is also Harry Potter related as well. J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, a pop-up gallery of curiosities. And this is what one of the pop-ups looks like. Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them, The Beast's Cinematic Guide. Here's that other copy of the Fantastic Beasts I was telling you about. Then I have two more copies of Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them in this edition. One of them is signed by Paul Redfern and there's the signature. Then I have this book of 20 colouring postcards. It's Commander a movie scrapbook and that book has this Makusa map in it. That book also has these four mini pictures in it and this is what the back of those pictures look like. There's also a mini flyer in it for sure. These playing cards from the speakeasy. This Witches Live Among Us booklet which I'll quickly flick through. These Witches Friend postcards, this page from Transfiguration Today, and this Mappa Mundi, which I won't take out because it's quite big. Then we have Fantastic Beasts, the original screenplay, Fantastic Beasts, a magical movie handbook, this Incredibles Swooping Evil kit, which I haven't done yet, Fantastic Beasts character guide, colouring and creativity book, which includes stickers, 24 pull-out poster books, obviously I'll be keeping the posters in there, the original Magical Characters and Places colouring book, and I also have the Magical Creatures colouring book. For some reason I have two copies of Inside the Magic, the making of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Probably my favourite Fantastic Beasts book, The Case of Beasts. In this one you get a piece of a newspaper, Tina's ID card for Makusa, Another shawl leaflet. A Makusa notice of contravention. 
A map I showed you earlier, but in this book it's massive, so I'm not going to open it. Another New Salem flyer. These massive wanted posters for Tina and Newt. Again, I'm not going to open them because they're massive. But this page shows you what they look like. Another map of Mundi, but again, it's massive, so I'm not going to show you. And you also get a Makusa wand permit. I also have some bits related to the sticker books. So we have this box here, this promotional box, which is full of stickers that I don't need. And we have this pack, which is just an unopened pack to show you. This thing I got from the shop, they let me have it. This is, this is how sad I am. This is all of my empty stickers and sticker packs because I've kept them. Yeah, I'm really sad. This is an unopened version of the sticker pack with stickers in it. And this is my complete set. So I'll cl quickly flick through that to show you the complete set of stickers. I'll probably zo uh, fast forward this bit because I don't want this video to run too long. These case stickers, if you scratch them, then something comes up. And then this is, I've got this set, this bit's complete as well, but this is the Harry Potter section. And we're talking about Fantastic Beasts today. Then I have a few magazines to show you. We have this Fantastic Beasts Odeon flyer kind of thing. Pretty cool. And it opens out. This Sunday Times magazine, SFX magazine, Empire magazine, the subscriber cover of the Empire magazine, Gay Times magazine, the limited edition Empire magazine that plays a video. I actually had two of these, but I gave one to my cousin. I have done a review on this. If you want to see the video playing, it does play. So I'll link the review uh, down in the description box below, just so this video isn't too long. I think this is the subscriber cover of SFX magazine and Total Film magazine. Next up, I'll just show you all of my miscellaneous items. Sorry if you can see my phone charger in the background there but we have this holographic Fantastic Beasts poster. I don't know if the camera will pick it up very well but it does move. My cinema tickets for Fantastic Beasts. My giant poster from HMV which I can't open to show you because I've never opened it. My Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them Deluxe Edition soundtrack. Of course the movie on DVD. I've got it twice for some reason. I think I've opened one and kept one new and sealed. My Fantastic Beasts mug which I believe was from HMV. Sorry I can't show you properly. I'll see what I can show you. It's just the cast and a logo at the back. My Liverpool bundle. If you watched my Liverpool blog, uh, vlog, I went to some of the Fantastic Beasts filming locations. I talk about it more in my Liverpool vlog. But we've just got postcards of St George's Hall here, which is a filming location. This is where the Senator Shaw rally was held. You have the uh, Canard building here, which is another filming location. A booklet on St George's Hall. A guide on St George's Hall. This is not the Liverpool bit, but it just shows Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find them from my cinema. I must have just hid that there. And a St George's Hall bag. My Fantastic Beasts necklace and keyring. I don't think these are official. I think these are just uh, cheap off eBay. Then we have this hat I found on eBay, which has absolutely nothing to do with Fantastic Beasts, but it reminded me of Tina, and I was going to use it for a Tina cosplay. Then we have a couple of pyjama sets, which could really do with an iron, to be fair. It's just uh, the Niffler, and I can't even remember what the top is, but I don't want to open them all out but these were from Primark then we have a t-shirt again I think from Primark that just says Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find them this was given to me as a gift by my best friend then we have a Fantastic Beasts tote bag again from Primark this cost three pound another t-shirt again I'm guessing from Primark two of the nano metal figs Newt Scamander and Porpentina Goldstein I'm just missing Jacob Kowalski I can't find him anywhere I get these from Asda I do also have a set of the Harry Potter ones uh, I think I've done a video on them before I haven't got a complete set though. I keep going into Asda and they never have the ones I need. Typical. And we're nearing the end, I promise. I know this video is quite long, but we have some Fantastic Beast socks. Again, I'm sure Primark. This really cute Niffler keyring. I don't think it's official. My own Makusa wand permit, which is a bit battered. I'm not going to show you inside because it has personal details. Two Fantastic Beasts rubber keyrings and a lanyard set. I believe these are from HMV. This Fantastic Beasts muggle-worthy door sign. I actually have two of these. I think one was a gift from my friend Katie. Um, I keep one on my bedroom door. And the last thing is this Newt Scamander poster. So that's all of my Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them collection. I am absolutely knackered now because I've been having to take it out of its box and put it back in. So uh, my floor is just covered in Fantastic Beasts merch at the minute that I need to put back away. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.